Trimmer, trim. What else do we got? Oh, uh, Vivo Active 5. Yes. Okay, I'm wearing it. All and right. I bought this watch. It's my new Garmin Vivo Active 5. Oh, so Garmin makes Vivo Active 5. I yes. wasn't sure. I have a love-hate relationship with Garmin. This, I have my uh, instinct on, and I switch back and forth. Is that Garmin? Time. Yeah. This is my, yeah. was my third Garmin purchase. Ooh. And then my fourth was the Garmin Fenix or Phoenix 7X. I like the fact that both of them, and I want to test with yours, right. I like that charger better okay. than the, the first two that I had. Mm. The, the charger that plugs into this works really well. Yes, you have, well, it's, it's like magnetic. Is, yeah, it's the same, right? Yeah. yeah. Old style was like an alligator clip. Oh, I didn't like that. I hated that. I actually I have a really old Garmin. Oh yeah? Which has the alligator clip. Does it still work? <laughs> the band broke. That's band another broke. problem with a lot of Garmin's is the first thing to go is the bands. Well now they, they give you a extra band. Right, that's right. what happened. Yeah. Uh, the previous one to this had an extra band. Yeah. So this one is like seven years old. This one is five years old. It, what, what, do you even know the generation of this uh, one? Yeah, I forgot though. It's, it's like... Why do you keep this? Uh, just for memento sake. <laughs> okay, put it with your trophies. <laughs> I mean, look at it. I mean, <laughs> look, you can see how it's evolved. Yeah, you can, right? this looks like 80s or 90s yeah, or something. Right. <laughs> yeah, I thought that. And then, and then, was this a Garmin? That's the Vivo Active 3. It's a Vivo Active 3. Yeah. got the green light there, that's yes. the pulse. A heartbeat, heart rate, heart rate, heart rate sensor. Uh, detector. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you get a new one? Well, I was happy with this one. I was happy with my Vivo Active, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but and it's also one of the cheapest. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I think I think the Garmin Vivo Active Five on sale now for like three hundred and thirty bucks is the, one of the cheapest models. The five is this one. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, the one. Are I they still selling the three? No, no, no. So this is this yeah. one is obsolete. obsolete. Okay. Yeah. So why did you buy the five? Because I like the three. You just wanted two watches. No, this one is this one's battery is dying. Oh, okay. That yeah. is the question I'm asking. <laughs> well, I thought you were asking me about the quality. Why, you know? Yeah. Um, but so it's, it's the battery issue. Yeah. How do you change? This one is six years old. I have bought you it changed the battery twice. Change I've, the I have changed the battery twice. How do you go about doing that? You go to the Garmin shop and you say, I need a new battery. And so they, <coughs> they took it for me and they replaced it. They charged me about 35 bucks for a new battery. Basically, these two watches, the, the three and the five, are completely sure. different, right? So the three and the Five. So the five has all the updated apps. It has the HRV value, heart rate value. Mm -hmm. Do you have that on your Phoenix? I'm sure I do. Okay. It also has your sleeping score. Mm -hmm. Yes. It has your body energy score. Do you have a tracking? Uh, the map? I do not have a map. Okay, so that's one of the things I sacrifice for a cheaper, cheaper watch. Mm -hmm. I don't have navigation, I don't have the, wa the map, and I don't altimeter. have altimeter. No, I don't have altimeter. So those things are not important to me. Okay. So, I mean, basically the, the five is, is a good health, what do you call it, a health watch. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good watch for... It's like a Fitbit. Yes, well, better than a Fitbit. Right? Yeah. It's, um, I like the, the green. So you have a lot of different setups for the yes, face. Yes, yes. Show, show face. Okay, the faces. That's the face that I that it came when I bought it. And I haven't changed it because I think it's it's fine. Yeah, I like that green. You already got some steps. Yeah. So, so you can scroll through. I'm going to take the camera off here and, all right. and zoom on your oh, okay. phone and you show some features. Okay. You have the time and they show you the, whoops. They show you your, your body energy how much energy you've got, which I've got none, and uh, <laughs> steps, and then my battery, and then you scroll down. So you have no body energy because you just did a massive workout or something? Yeah, uh, according, to according to Garmin, I'm pretty unhealthy. 
<laughs> yeah, my sleep is not good, and I'm I'm uh, doing too much exercise. Yeah, I hate. Does it give you those negative points and positive? When I'm out on a run, mm -hmm. it will send me this thing. It'll be like negative two. I've never or, gotten that. You never? No. Oh, it's that like performance. Be, no, I don't have that. Yeah. So I have intensity minutes, heart per, rate. Is that, wait, wait, is that per week? I forget. Yes, every week it's re, it's recalibrated. What does 318 mean? That means that um, I've done over the recommended amount. The recommended amount is 150 for everything combined. Um, and then, okay, go back. So, so there you have heart rate, okay? You have steps, I've done 5,000 today. Wow, Yeah, I did a, good. I did a walk. There's the body battery. Uh, this is this is the thing that keeps telling me I'm unhealthy, because uh, <laughs> um, you can see uh, because I'm not wearing it now. There's no score. My body battery was really low. It's like in the 30s out of a uh -huh. hundred. Oh. Okay, but according to this guy on uh, YouTube, um, as long as it doesn't get down into the teens. It's okay. Right. That's what he. That's what he I said. Need to rest. It doesn't seem like your screen is very reactive all the time. Yeah. Maybe it's just getting used to how hard you have to press. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you have this heart rate value. I'm unbalanced. Oh, okay. I never look at that. Okay. So this, this takes into account your exercise, your sleep, your heart rate, and um, yeah those three factors. And it takes, according to the, the Garmin website, it takes two weeks to get a accurate score. Mm. So your okay. baseline is between yeah. 33 and 43. Yeah. And, and you're you can, right under the baseline. And they, they can so see. You're see? Low, can you read that? Yeah, it says unbalanced. You're lower than usual HRV may indicate the need for more recovery. If you feel fatigued, Take some time to rest. Okay. Okay, sorry. I Thanks, gotta, Garmin. Go, I gotta go take a nap now. <laughs> sleep score. There's my sleep score. So you sleep with that thing on. Yeah. At least you're getting fair. I, I always get like whatever the worst one is. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was thinking, I would thought you were a better sleeper than me. No. You slept long enough, but not well enough to bring your stress levels down overnight. Wow. You had a lot of stress late in the day yesterday, which is true. I did a 7K huh. run. That may have compromised, compromised your sleep. You may feel more tired or irritable today. Huh. Um, sorry if I'm in a bad mood, but <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to play around with. They show you your deep, light, REM, awake, right? Mm -hmm. There's the whole... Statistics. I should start doing that again. Okay. Um, I might get tired of this after a few weeks. <laughs> Naps. Sleep coach. Sleep coach. They tell me how many hours of sleep I should get tonight. Okay. And it changes. It mm -hmm. changes according to exercise or nap. And, okay, this is important. I've set up my watch. <laughs> I've set up my watch to give me coaching drills for a half marathon. Really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know you were planning a half. Well, I'm not, but I'm just using my watch to see what it can do. Yeah. I may do a half, but but not until the fall. It gives me uh, drills to do. Okay. Well, I'm at the track. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So today is my rest day. Yeah, I get the recommendations too, but I didn't have it set up for any specific um, goal. Distance. You can, you can, according, what I did is I set it up for six months from now for a half marathon. Oh, okay. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. There's my notifications. This is the presidential alert that occurred on Wednesday. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's, I really like um, getting notifications. See all my watch. Yeah, I get all my texts right, coming right. through. Okay. You can't read the whole thing sometimes yeah, if the text yeah. is long. But at least I know who texted me. There's the weather. Click on that. Okay. So the weather is nice, 28, 24. It also gives you the, Celsius. the weather, uh, the forecast, forecast for the rest of the day. 10% and the weekend. Nice. Huh. Yeah, okay. that's not bad. And finally, it gives me recovery. So this is based on my last workout. Okay. So train um, as usual. Train as usual. Yeah. So what does a three mean? Three hours. Oh, oh you, it, 
in other words, in three hours, you, yes. you will be recovered from that walk that you took today. Yes, and the run I took last night. Okay. It all adds up. That's the basic uh, rundown. That's of it in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah, and you can edit the watch face and yeah. put different things. You can even download I like the uh, pictures. Th this is just black and white. Okay. This is what the, is this? This is the Garmin Instinct. Okay. Yeah. But this does have that um, navigational and, and um, the map feature. Oh, okay. Yeah, which we actually used at Guguan. See my heart rate on there? But I'm not gonna do a review of this. This is this is an older watch. So far, it's it's been fun. It's been fun to use, and um, I like the appearance. It's small. Mm -hmm. um, it's light. It's thinner than the Vivo Active Three. Let's see how thick. Did you that use is. it on your last two hikes with Brian? Yes, I did. The last one to Flame Mountain, I used this. Yeah. One. It's back in Ann Arbor. He left on uh, he left on Wednesday, the same day of the earthquake. So yeah. we have a through hiker video if you want. You guys yes. want to check that out? Yes. So have you ever read a book called The Confederacy? A Confederacy of Dunces? No. That is hilarious. Oh and yeah. It won a Pulitzer Prize. You should check it out. It is very very funny. Wow. And it's, yeah, it's, a, it's an American classic. I was surprised to find it. I'm reading Sapiens and Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, that's one. a good book. Yeah, you read that? I read that. That's a lot of books started at the same time. Candy, All right. Candy. or pilgrimage. Okay, so uh, tomorrow we're getting up early to, yeah. to start our third... Um, third section of the Matsu pilgrimage. Well, third for you, second for me, yeah. because I didn't join you in the first one. Um, you went from I went from Jaja to yeah. Dadu. Right. And so last year we did from Dadu to Zhanghuang. That was last year. But I think two. Well, maybe years I ago, woke up the next day and then and then did. Oh, really? Okay. To Zhanghuang to Huatan. But I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Yeah. From Nanyang Temple. 